Hey babe, this is the house in Lion's Head. I had to come see it because I just had to. I know it's more than I want to spend, but I wanted to show it anyway. So, um, Jermaine can show you the 360 of the neighborhood, but once again, from what Jermaine has um, said and what the other guy has said is that this neighborhood is more like $400,000, $500,000 homes, and now I guess this has just become available. So, neighborhood just looks beautiful. Um, the tall column, um, where our address is located. So, uh, the driveway here is more of the circular driveway, not necessarily the white, the long uphill type deal that we've been seeing at other homes. Um, really nice brick on this home, which I like. Um, you know, not that I have a preference, but this this just looks really nice. So, um, we're gonna pause the video, then we're gonna go inside. All right, so now we're at the front door. I uh, love this. The landscape it looks really nice. I'll show you from the inside this whole balcony thing. Reminds me very much Romeo Juliet-esque. Um, front door, which I've been mentioning over and over, so obviously I have a preference for these really nice front doors. So, uh, here is the foyer. Um, I don't know. I can't get a shot of that, so let's. Okay, so here is the entrance. Um, I know Jermaine is probably going up for effect because he really likes to do that. But this is the two story foyer. As you can see, marble floors when you walk in. So, really, really nice touch. If you look on the walls, if Jermaine will focus in, there's these little lights um, up ahead on the wall. Kind of reminds you of when you walk through an area and it's like on the columns. So, a nice look throughout this house of columns. So, as you can see, you know, nice molding all around. It's a nice neutral color. Come in here. This would be a sitting area. Um, it has bay windows. Nice new carpet in here. It opens up with French doors and you can see out into the uh, driveway. So, okay. yes? Mm -hmm. Nice feelings in here as well. Then we'll go into what would be the formal dining room. Formal dining room. We got a light over there. Where it's a million lights around here. We'll find it. There, you there go. we go. So formal dining room. Um, when you go from here, there is actually, and I think this actually has to have a key. So. Oh uh, yeah. This it's okay. You're on. Okay, so the formal dining room, really nice chandelier. I like love am in love with that. It just goes with the look of the house, uh, which as you continue to move through the house, you'll see how everything is very, just really, really nice architecture. Really a lot of thought went into this house. Remember I told you that I would show you uh, the whole Romeo and Juliet thing? So you go out here. French doors and you have this area so not necessarily that you may put something out here but it just looks really really nice and it adds to the way the house looks from the front uh, kind of Roman type look All right so and this is actually secure okay so now sitting room and the formal dining room. We're now walking into the sunken living room um, that is off of the formal dining room area. So from the front door, you walk right into here. Um, you will also see the coffered ceilings, which are really, really nice. And again, the fixtures. So if you look at the ceiling fan, uh, just a nice ceiling fan. And then we have the fireplace with the brick which is really nice uh, from here because it's a sunken living room. You also will see that you can look upstairs. Uh, so the whole two story foyer, you can look over and I'll show you that when we walk upstairs. So now Jermaine is gonna follow me into the dining room, not the 
formal dining room, but the secondary dining room area. So when you look here, again, a really nice fixture. Or a really nice fixture here. Um, the deck is out that way, but we're going to go through the kitchen uh, first. So now we are walking into the kitchen, which has the cherry wood that I love. Uh, it also has the stove that is in the countertop, which as you know, I love. So I really love this kitchen. The cabinetry looks really nice. Um, just really nice kitchen overall. As you can see, a wine a area to store wine uh, in the kitchen. Also, one of the features I want to show you is the intercom system and a music system that's in the kitchen. When you look here, it stores different areas of the house. So you can talk to people in other rooms and also control music in other rooms as well. I've already tried it, it works. So now we are going to go into the basement. Okay, so one of the things you're gonna notice about this basement that was different with the other basements is there's no door. So you actually come down the carpeted, this is Berber carpet. So you come down into this basement from upstairs and you don't exactly have a um, door separating into the finished basement, which we know you will love. Uh, there's actually a built-in wet bar uh, behind Jermaine, which is why he's trying to get out of the way, is the first area, which is kind of like a wet bar and then maybe like an area where you would have yeah. people kind of chill out. Yeah, There's supposed to be a table right there underneath that okay. light. I love the setup here with the wet bar and the whole glass. As you look that away, you'll see that there's a room that's tiled off. Um, not sure what you would want to do here, but it is here. From here, um, you can go. From here, you can come into almost a secondary living room area with a fireplace. So I just walked from the tiled room into here, but also you can get to here from the area with the wet bar. You will also see there's a ceiling fan, and then we don't need to walk in here, but there's a room in here. There's also a room in here that's downstairs. And remember I said that there is, okay, Jermaine is gonna walk in here anyway. Okay. And as you can see, remember I said there's an intercom system. So you can have the radio playing or you can do the talking. There's another room. I guess I will show you this one. Again, another intercom in here. Uh, so maybe this for the office because there's already built-in bookshelves in here. And when I show you upstairs, you'll see that there's only three bedrooms upstairs. And in this house, the master bedroom is on the main floor. So... Um, one more room to show you down here in the basement. Okay, and this is another room. Not sure if this will be a guest room or what have you. So as you can see, there are two fireplaces in this basement. There was the brick fireplace that's in the room next to us, and then it's the marble fireplace down here. So a lot of thought put into how this basement would be set up, a really big area, nice area. Um, so from here, there's also a bathroom down here, um, but that's not a big deal. <laughs> so we are gonna go upstairs now. Okay, so I said I wasn't gonna show you the bathroom, but I lied. This is the bathroom that's in the basement. So as you can see, a full um, bath. It also has a whirlpool tub. No need to show that. Don't understand why the sink is so long, um, but it's still a nice area. You'll see in this house that they love wallpaper. Um, so there's rooms that are wallpaper in this house. So that'd be something, but just really, really nice. Also down this hallway is another room. So if you're counting rooms in this basement, 
there is one, two, three, like four or five areas in this basement that you can use to entertain. All right, back at the main level, I'm going to show you the deck. It is a two-story deck. So you have the really kind of cherry look to the deck, which is really nice. Uh, Jermaine is showing you the view where you'll see that we are, or this house, um, there's a clubhouse over there with a pool. And okay, so we are walking through the sunken living room. <laughs> And the master bedroom is on the main floor. So as you can see, the master bedroom goes back. Uh, another fireplace. So if you're counting, that's four. So really, really nice. Um, nice ceilings. These will be tray ceilings. Yes? Maybe. Uh, I don't think know. These are trays. No, I don't know about I don't know. Them. I just like to use those words. Tray yeah, ceilings, coffer ceilings. Yeah, Sorry. I believe these are trays. So. Okay. Um, there's also a door in here that leads back out to the deck. So you can get to the deck two different ways. One in the dining area, but also through here. So I'm going to walk you into the master bath. So, yes. So as you can see, really nice master bath. It has the whirlpool tub, really high ceilings nice fixtures. I really like, believe it or not, the brush paint in here. It's kind of like gray and then they did something. So they added some personal touches that really make for a nice area. There's also the closet through here. Nice size closet area. Um, you know, we could always install California closet stuff if we wanted to, but as it stands, is really nice. Um, Jermaine is walking the length of it so that you can see how far it is. So from here, we're going to go upstairs and then we'll be done. Okay, so back in the entrance way where we're going to go up the steps. So really nice steps, nice hardwood floor. And if you go up here, um, Jermaine's probably going to show you the view where you can look down both ways when you come up the steps. So you can look down this way and look down to the entrance and welcome people into our home. Again, beautiful fixtures. Or you can look down this way where you are. All right, so I know we turned off the lights down there so you don't see it, but you've already seen it when we were downstairs. So lights galore up here. In this house, you'll also see down here another set of steps that lead up here, and this is from the kitchen area. So then there are three bedrooms upstairs. This is the first bedroom that has a nice size closet, UPKIA, and a ceiling fan. From here, you will see that this bedroom is Jack and Jill. So when you come in here, you'll see that it has ugly blue wallpaper. Probably the only wallpaper that I dislike in this house is this one. If I had to say what I like or dislike, this is the only thing I freaking dislike about this house is this wallpaper. Um, so from here, you have another room. Kind of slants in, but definitely, you know, a nice size room. It has a built-in desk. This is shares the Jack and Jill room with the other one. So, all right, so this is the third room. And one of the things you're gonna also notice again in this room is that there is a desk. So that's two rooms, but kind of built in desk. When I look at this room, I think this will be a good guest room and you'll see the reason why is because there is a full bathroom in this room. So when you think of having guests over, they would have their own full bathroom, you know, for them to be in. Or if anybody ever was to, I guess if a teenager grew up here, um, then it would look really, really nice. But three bedrooms upstairs, um, one or two full baths. So one bathroom that is shared between the two rooms and then another full bathroom.